can't give a lie If I can make it If I try to draw the red light I could run through the fire I could can't give a lie If I can make it If I try to draw the red light If I can make it, if I try to draw the red light, I could run through the fire. I could can't give a lie. If I can make it, if I try to draw the red. man things are getting real things are getting real oh how's it going everybody my goodness gracious i'm telling you what i am telling you what uh I, what can you say what can you say this whole call of the wild the angler thing came out of nowhere did it not who's all in the chat Woodworking Beagles here. For for Keeve, Mira, Hunter Stockman. I hope I said that at least partly right. Night Wolf, Karen Ebert, Diarmok, Bertrand, Jared, Stefan, Llama, Digital Dane, Hunter Kirby, Cole Gunner, Idiots Animate. My God, we're up to 64. And we haven't even started. This is gonna be wild. Kobe Hoffman, Redneck Farms, uh, uh, Stefan Wyatt Hayden, Idiots Animated again, Wanaka Wall, Henry's here. How's it going, man? What do you think? I'm I'm just uber excited. I'll, I'll talk more about it once I get all these people out. That's some pretty water. Oh, well, yeah, I'd say so. It's top notch water there. Uh, David Critchfield, Clifford. I don't even know. Do you think he picks his nose before he goes live? These are the questions. These are the questions people want answered. <laughs> Enrique Gar Garcia, uh, George Jose, Hayden James, Hector Zuna. Oh my God. Well, usually I like to go through all the different names before we even start. But my God, the names are just going off the scales. Off the scales, everyone. No, it's more like me running around getting drinks and stuff ready for two hours streaming. That's usually what I'm doing. Today, I, I burnt my tongue so bad. <laughs> on some food that I just ate. So, uh, forgive me for drinking a, uh, Boulevard wheat today, because my, uh, my tongue could honestly use some numbing. Um, here we are in Slaying River, though. I'm, uh, I'm excited to get after some giant taming today. Um, here is one of our taming spots. Uh, if I bring up the map, you may notice I have a few more, uh, locations for unique fish now. 
Um, and that is because we filmed our, uh, our beginner series video. And while doing that, we, uh, found some, uh, found some pretty sweet locations. So, uh, yeah. Oh no, I didn't mark that last one. Oh, it's okay. I'll, I'll mark it. I'll, I'll mark it. Darn it all. But that's okay. Top notch. Let's go ahead and try to get one off, uh, off here, I suppose. Let's, uh, can we, can we try to change time? Let's go right, right here. Right into the good stuff, man. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw our match rods out. Um, that always seems to work. Which one do we have? Which one do we have? Slam and Carbo weaving right on. When will the map come out on console? That is a fantastic, uh, question. You know, uh, back when the map finally came out, first came out, I should say, um, someone had commented that based on previous maps that have come out for the Hunter Call or uh, for for Fishing Planet, uh, there's usually a two-week wait before it comes out on console. So uh, that's all I have to go on right now. I'd say wait two weeks, and we will see. Right? Who who knows? This place is beautiful. It's your first look at this place. Well, right on. What should I do? My license is ran out. And I got no money. I got no money. I got no money. Um, I I I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, go, uh, you know, um, go play some, uh, late, uh, Leighton Lakes. Lone Star Lakes. They both start with L. Give me a break. Jeez Louise. Got some ma Oh, there it goes. Okay. I was gonna say, we got some major, major, uh, waves going on right now. Whatever we got is a pretty good sized fish, judging by the scales, judging by the meters, man. Currently fishing in California, catching uni carp and searching right on, man. Getting those, uh, getting those commons early on. That fake outdoorsman, if if he was still here, he only he only checks in for like a few minutes and then he's off. If he was still here, he could uh, he could give us a chat about those uh, all those common carp he's always catching. Are you gonna be able to crossplay with friends in the angler? Uh, I don't know. People have been asking about that, um, so I don't know yet. But it would be nice, wouldn't it? Go 41 pounds of Siberian Tamen to start us off. Good deal. Good deal. I cannot believe we found this spot by trying to uh, trying to catch small fish. Do you all remember that? The last live stream we were here fishing this spot? We were tossing out our like bass rod and we hooked into a, a Tamen and it took us for a ride out to like 300 and some odd yards. It was, uh, there was no return with that guy. We, uh, we finally just let him go loose. <laughs> so bad. Marcus Mutton, how's it going, man? How are you doing? Excited for the angler? I am ecstatic for the angler. Dude, they are going after the large minnows today. Can you imagine this, but with, uh, with Call of the Wild, the angler? This is gonna be sweet, dude. I love fishing games, man. They are, they are the top notch. Oh, you didn't leave. Oh, you didn't leave. Okay. Oh, oh, he's showing off now. Showing off now. He's trying to set a record for the longest he's stayed in the stream. I get it. I get it. This one's taking out line, at least. That's a good sign. Do you think this game will ever release an offshore map or something like that? I tell you what, with news of the Call of the Wild angler coming out, you would think they might just go ahead and do something uh, a little bit out there like that, don't you think? They'd want to put something else out there to get people talking about the game again. Uh, if I made a fishing game right now, I'd be pretty dang worried. <laughs> trying to trying to think about what to do to make my game stand out with these... Uh, oh god, I don't even know how old these graphics are. <clears throat> fishing Planet graphics are kind of like the Hunter Classic, which came out in like 2005 or something, 2008 maybe, I can't remember. The game's like uh, 14 years old. So uh, that's what these graphics remind me of. 14 year old graphics. But I will tell you, I mean, there are plenty of games that have come out recently that have worse graphics than this game, which is just crazy. Um, and I think it's because they kind of did like a stylistic choice. It was just a bad choice on their end. So, uh, yeah. Tune in while I'm manning the grill. Hey, right on, Q. I was, uh, I was manning the stove a little while back. You know, a little stovetop action. I made, uh, made, uh, 
some some Asian cuisine that was way too spicy for me but I still ate two bowls of it and my mouth is still on fire <laughs> oh no we got a second one on oh geez I don't know what to do this is a pretty decent size one I don't know oh he's coming in real quick oh this would be amazing if we could hook him up right here get him net him he nil net him he nil He's right here, bro. Get him. Oh my god, we might actually do this. Let's go, trophy. Come on, grab it. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Set the hook. Set the hook. We got him. We got him. And he's a small guy. S-M-O-L-G-U-Y. Uh, small guy. The 40-pounder. 40 40-pounder. 40 You're You're packing for your trip. You got me playing in the background. What what trip are you packing for? The Florida one that you've been talking about for a while, or what? What's going on here? Marcus Mutton, hi. Roger Johnson, hi. Hector Zuniga. Soft fly fishing would be amazing for this game. Oh, fly fishing would be amazing for this game. You're exactly right. Well, this guy's putting up a bit, bit of a fight, anyway, for just being 40-some pounds. You gotta go, Henry. 3 a.m. Oh my god. Yeah, you better go, man. Well, it's good to see you anyway, Henry. Always love seeing you. Always love seeing you in the chat. Thanks for being here, man. Anando. Ananda. I'm sorry, I messed that up. Ananda. Hi, how are you? Think so, Carlos. Yo, Bo. How's it going, Carlos? Stand there, Bo. I love spicy. Oh my god, dude. I put. <clears throat> I put three. I realize these are not habaneros or ghost peppers or something super, super spicy. But I put three serrano peppers into my my uh, Asian dish I made. It's like a stir fry. My goodness gracious. Thanks for the sub. I cannot read that whatsoever. I'm so sorry. I feel like I should learn like the Russian alphabet so I can read that or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I put three serrano peppers in it, and I practically ate like an entire pepper uh, just with the two bowls I ate. Oh my god, my mouth is on fire. It wasn't until afterwards that I realized that the serrano pepper is like four to ten times more spicy than a jalapeno. I thought it was less spicy <laughs> when I was making it. <laughs> Should have probably looked it up. It was me. It was a poor choice. Hey, hey, I, I never said that, you know? I'm a good friend. We, we never said that to each other. We just talked about Gatorade bottles and whatnot. Alright, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to pull out another one of these guys, but I'll sit here for another minute or two. Just to see. Just to see. Uh, what the heck? Oh, shoot. Dang it. Making bad decisions. What do we got? 92 viewers and 18 likes? What's going on here? Huh? What's going on here? You know what's going on? It's like having a restaurant. It's like having a restaurant full of 92 people. And then, uh, and then, like, only 18 of them are actually buying something. <laughs> oh, that's okay, though. I understand. I'm not a likable guy. I get it. You know, you look at me, you go, what a doofus. And then you just, you know, continue watching. I get it. I get it, you know? What map do you think is the best in the U.S.? The best in the U.S.? I don't know. What, what do you mean by the best, though? Like, what do you think, like, the best for XP, the best for money, or just the most enjoyable? What are you thinking? Cash Kisner, do you remember me? I remember everybody, Cash. Come on now. I missed that. Use the bird's eyes in the household. In the household. Duck says hi. Hoon, hoon how? Did I say that correctly at all? Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. 50 likes, no. Beach floor. Okay, so you are going to Florida. All right, right on. Playing Fishing Planet right now. Right on, Roger Johnson. Do you have an estimate on when this will be out on console? When this will be out? On well, this isn't. This isn't the Call of the Wild, the Angler. This is Fishing Planet. It's already out on console. If you want to play, you can play it right now. It's free. Um, but the Call of the Wild, I assume, will probably be out. I keep calling it Call of the Wild, even though that's for the hunter and the angler. Um, the angler will say, uh, I would assume would be out within the next four months is what I, uh, managed to come up with. I figured, uh, they put out the announcement trailer for the hunter call of the wild, November 28th of 2016. And they finally released the game 
February 16th of 2017, um, which I figured was kind of a three, three to four month window. Um, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go four months. I'll be generous, but it would be nice to have it in three months, you know? Um, we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. It's, it's obviously been since 2017, been five years, you know, maybe they've ironed out their whole like, uh, process of making games, you know, that'd be nice. That would be nice. Positive vids, vibes only, no self-hate here. <laughs> Do you think the angler is going to put Fishing Planet out of being played more? <sighs> Maybe? I'm not sure, man. Of course, the biggest thing that the, the angler has for it is that, or the biggest thing Fishing Planet has for it is that it's a free game, correct? What's going on here? My god, there's ducks being shot out of the sky. I totally missed, I totally missed what happened. Will the angler be free? I assume not. No, I, I assume not. Missed your last stream, sadly. James, no big deal, man. You're not playing the angler until I play it? <laughs> guys, 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 guys. We've got 117 viewers, and we haven't hit 100 likes yet. What's the deal, huh? What's the deal? You know, there's a lot of people rolling their... Oh my god, this is a giant fish. There's a lot of people rolling their eyes right now. Like, yeah, we already went through this. You already asked for likes. Oh, oh, oh. I get it, you know? I'd love to... Once we hit 100 likes, I usually forget about it, and I don't, I don't care after that. So if you don't want to hear about it anymore, just get to 100, and then I'll stop. <laughs> oh... Okay, I really saw something interesting there, but I can't roll. I can't scroll up to see it. Who said that? Something about U.S. maps. I just saw it as it was going off the top. Gage vids, by the way. I love your videos. Been watching for a while. Love it, man. Appreciate it, Gage's vids. That is awesome. Well, I really appreciate it, and I'm I'm glad you've been enjoying the videos. That's awesome. Hope you're having a good day. Saw your carp vid and decided to get out of the house and fish, and it's really soothing. Love the energy and everything. Keep up the great work. Kobe Hoffman. Dude, I love fishing. I, I absolutely love fishing. It's crazy the other day. You know, I, I run around so much chasing after fish jumping and whatnot and throwing out stuff. And there just came a point where I, like, threw out a bobber, and I waited, like, two minutes and kind of zoned out. And I was just like, dude, what What am I doing here? I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here watching this bobber. And it was at that moment where I was like, I was in a complete state of zen. I was just completely relaxed. And I honestly lost track of time for the past couple minutes. And it was like that. I was like reminded at that moment how relaxing fishing is. <laughs> where you're just like sitting there next to the water hoping that some magical fish that's hidden underneath will come up and grab your bait. I'm telling you, it, there's there's not much like it. It's just a magical activity. I understand people like hunting because they get to shoot guns and stuff, but man, fishing's magical. Watching two accounts right now. Whoa, Leaf. That's that's fancy, dude. The angler's best thing personally for me is open world. Just gonna be awesome shake up. Other than fishing Jeep plus the Jeep. I tell you the biggest thing for me, and they didn't come out right and say it, but they kind of alluded to it, don't you think? They made it sound like you can be in the same boat as your uh, as your friends. Is what it sounded like to me anyway. Which I think is a huge win. I know a ton of people who love playing Fishing Planet with their friends, but they are always like, hey, but by the way, how do we get into the same boat? And I always go, oh, there's there's not a way to do that in Fishing Planet. And they go, oh, that's too bad. We were really looking forward to fishing in the same boat together. And I think I think it does. It creates a like a group it becomes a group activity, you know? Where it's like, oh god, where's don't you steer us into those freaking threes again, Trent. Gosh dang it. Hey, look at this monster. Look at this monster. Unicorn? Let's go! 96 pounds! Off to the off to the races, everybody. We're off to the races. Oh my golly. 
What map do you think is the best in the US in terms of fish and scenery? Okay, in terms of fish and scenery. Ooh, that's hard. Um, I think it's between... That's difficult. I have a lot of fun, like there's a lot of fun places in the US um, in Fishing Planet. Uh, a couple places that come off the top of my head, obviously, well, actually I'll add on to that. Quanchkin, love the alligator gar in Quanchkin, love the catfish. Uh, Everglades, fun to fish for bass, and you get a taste of those saltwater critters, which is pretty cool as well. Blue crab, obviously closest thing to saltwater we pretty much have in Fishing Planet, so that makes it a pretty cool place. San Joaquin has the sturgeon and also has like the steelhead and uh, striped bass. You know, it's got a, it's got a quite a diff, quite a, quite a variety, and you get to go after the unique carp, which is pretty cool as well. And then St. Croix, where you can go after some sturgeon, you can go after a uh, unique blue catfish, uh, big walleye, big pike, big musky. Um, I think, oh, it's hard. I think if I was to narrow it down to one, I'd go with St. Croix. But I love, I love lots of places in the U.S. and Fishing Planet. There's a lot of fun places. Well, top notch, everyone. Got our first unique of the night. That will go. It took us 25 minutes. Golly. Too bad we weren't fishing at Weeping Willows. We would have got one in the first five minutes. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, uh, we can't go that way anyway. Okay. I tell you what happened. I was fishing at this location over yonder. Let's try to go back. And I caught a, uh, I caught a unicorn whitefish. I came back here with uh, feeder rods. And that was a good bet. That was a real good bet. Woodworking beagle with the unicorns. The unicorns. Man, friends might just go riding and fooling on the four-wheelers. Ooh, be careful. My goodness gracious. My grandfather broke his, uh... Did, well, he didn't break his knee, but it was... It certainly felt like it. It felt like he broke his knee. Yeah, I remember that growing up. My, uh... My grandfather practically lived with us for, like, a year because he hurt his leg so bad he couldn't really do anything. But, uh, really enjoyed it. It was probably only a summer, but it felt like a long time. Not not because I was uh, annoyed with him being there. Just uh, in my childhood memory, I remember him being there a long time. Who's who's there? Who's Bjorn finding? Chase! M mush? 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 Chase, well, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Four or five months ago, you said I should start this game again. Now I've grinded and have lots of money. Thanks for telling me to start again. This game is really fun. It is a lot of fun. I feel like people play, they get to the point where they're like Lone Star to like uh, to like Mudwater or Rocky Lake or something like that, and and they can't figure out how to go forward. You know, all they need to do is go to Emerald Lake and catch a bunch of walleye, but they usually don't make it that far, and they usually give up. They run out of money. They can't make it to Emerald, uh, something of the sort like that. Um, which is just sad, because it's really that easy. I mean, it's really just making enough money to get to Emerald with a narrow spoon um, and, and fishing for some walleye. I mean, each walleye you get is like 350 to 550 bucks, so it's amazing. Love the beginner's vids. It's really helpful. Only level 20. We'll ride on Angler's Guide. YouTube Wolf Boy with a dollar. Thanks to YouTube. Appreciate it. The angler's open world does it have a big range of fish so robert i assume it'll be very similar to uh the hunter and how it has like you know latent lakes you'll be able to walk around in different areas maybe you have a stream going on one maybe you have a lake over here a uh, pond over here and some of those ponds are really good for largemouth and you know crappie and bluegill and stuff like that the lakes themselves uh may be better for i don't know blue catfish and crappie and pike and stuff like that or uh maybe you know those streams or something along the you know along the brush of the streams might be a good location for pike or musky or something like that um that's that's why i think they mean by open world where we're going to be able to kind of choose where we want to go and find different locations that we really like um yeah I'll, I'll be interested to see it'll be really cool to uh, find out more that's for sure you just see a giant trout well it is a giant salmon so very similar you know to the darn bill trout or something like that 
Sturge and Saki California. <laughs> a good carp setup for level 45. Honestly, just the best you can get at level 45. Uh, I was using method leads at 45. Um, but experiment with some stuff. I'm only level 20, right on. It helps a lot. Good deal, Angler's Guide. Glad to see it. Should have had a Q to EESS because I made 20,000 fishing in one day at Quanchican Lake and fishing plan after Gar. Well, sweet, Monica. That's great. Um, yeah, because Quanchkin is in between Everglades and St. St. Croix, correct? I want to say it is. I don't know. The fish at, at Quanchkin, the only reason I don't add them into the whole acronym is because they weigh a lot and they don't give a lot of money in comparison to their weight. Their weight to money ratio is not that great. And so uh, that's the whole reason I didn't add them. We're going to go ahead and move on, everybody. We're not really catching them. I was throwing the feeder rod out there, hoping to get some fish. But uh, it's not working out for us. We're going to move on over here. Try to get the uh, taming. Though I will say that uh, if we want to fish topwater taming, we need to switch to a different day. But... This will do. <clears throat> the music got all magical when I was talking about my grandpa. <laughs> something about Naharan River. I missed something about Naharan River there. All right, there we got some fish to show up. What are your thoughts on the Heron River? I think the Heron River is great. Uh, I really do, especially for the bass and everything. That's one of those places I uh, almost added it in between Ever uh, Emerald Lake and Everglades. I think that Naharan is a great spot to go to between Naharan and Everglades. Um, but, yeah. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. I'll throw this buzzbait. I tell you, the first time I threw a buzzbait out here for the, uh, for the big uh, what their faces, the taming, I caught one on the first try. It was amazing. And I thought, oh my god, the buzzbait's absolutely destroying them. Um, and then the bite completely shut off afterwards. And I never caught another one. So I'm not sure if it was just a lucky break or what. <clears throat> Is it five unique or carp per pond? Um, it's five, it's it's one of every type of carp. So you can catch one grass, one mirror, one common, um, one leather, uh, and one ghost. But I will say that you have a possibility of catching another one of those if you get a bite while you're fighting another one. So say you're fighting a common carp, a unique common carp, and you get another bite while you're fighting it. Technically, that second bite could also be a unique common carp. And so if you reel the first one in real quick and you get it in and you switch to the second one, you could technically get two unique common carp in the same body of water. Um, but that, I mean, it happens every once in a while, but it's, it's fairly rare. Fairly rare. Call the wild angler to release. I can't either, angler's guy. What lure should I use at Tiber? Oh, that's a great question. I honestly didn't fish a Tiber, so I'm not the best uh, best person to ask, unfortunately. I'm currently having a hard time catching the burbot in this map. You know, I caught a burbot and I wasn't even trying. Um, I want to say it was out here. I was fishing this body of water. Oh my god, I've reached the point of spice where my nose is clogged and I don't have any... I can't breathe through my nose. Um, I'm gonna start sounding like Squidward. <laughs> or a uh, Minecraft villager. Let's switch to the mouse here. Uh, where are you, mouse? There you are. It's honestly cloudy outside. We should probably throw the gray one on. All right. Think no, they should merge the hunter and the angler. I think they should not. Uh, I've explained this a couple times. I realize this isn't like a big thing for uh, 
for a lot of people to think about. And I think I think the biggest thing is that the people who usually want the games to be combined are uh, are hunters. Um, I could be wrong though, but uh, I work obviously. If you don't know, I work in um, in uh, uh, wildlife departments, uh, conservation. I do marketing design for them. I make all their emails and websites and stuff. Um, for uh, state wildlife departments, Ohio, Missouri, and whatnot. Um, and what you'll find when you work... Oh my god, an absolute monster! What you'll find is if you're not paying attention, then an absolute monster taman will come up and try to grab your mouse and you'll absolutely miss him. Oh my god, I cannot believe how big that fish was. Holy crap. Let's try to throw it back out there and get him again. What you'll find... Um, as I was rudely interrupted by that monster taming, um, is that hunters, a lot of the times, also enjoy fishing. Um, but fishing people, a vast majority of fishing people, uh, do not like hunting. Um, whether it be they just don't like the idea of killing an animal, um, you know, fishing, which is unique, you can actually catch fish without killing them. And throw them back. Well, it's not very—it's not very uh, easily done in hunting. Everything you shoot in hunting dies, <laughs> usually, unless you're a bad shot. Um, so you know, if people are into fishing, there's a good percentage of people in fishing who are into fishing because it's an outdoor activity that involves an animal but doesn't involve killing them. Um, and so they're not fans of hunting. So to create a game that combines hunting and fishing. You're going to make all of those hunters that also fish very happy. But for the fishing people, you know, they're going to wonder why they're paying money for a game that has fishing and hunting when they don't really have any interest in hunting whatsoever. Um, so from a, from a design point of view, it makes much more sense to make a separate fishing game and a separate hunting game. Because those hunters who also enjoy fishing will buy the fishing game. But the people who only like fishing will probably only buy the fishing game. Um, they won't buy the hunting game. And they wouldn't probably enjoy a hunting, fishing combined game. There we go. Well, there's a little 50, 51 pounder anyway. Egyptian Wolf God, hey. Case and Jasper says hey as well. Hi. What bait did you use to catch the burbot? That is a great question. I, uh, I've been switching between, uh, let's see here, the side swimmers, the bark beetle larva, and where's the other one? Um, the row, the boiled red row. So it had to be one of those three: the boiled red row, side swimmers, and the bark larva. Uh, I wish I could tell you which one, but I really don't. I really don't know. <laughs> oh, not helpful whatsoever. Egyptian wolf god. Hey, how's it going, man? I feel like I haven't seen you in a long time. Goodness gracious. Good evening, everyone. Matthew Town. Hi. Fishing plan map to be Cape Cod for tuna and stuff. That'd be cool, man. I watched a John B video where he was at Cape Cod catching some massive striped bass. And ever since then, I've uh, I've always thought about how cool it would be to go to Cape Cod and catch some giant striped bass. What was uh, concerning about it when he was catching them, though, was that there were, like, guys fishing next to him. That say they've like fished that area for years and they've never seen someone catch so many fish. So it makes you wonder if they're just bad anglers or uh, if the weather was just perfect for that sort of angling or what the deal was. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Made some flies right on. That's awesome. I love I love fly fishing, dude. <clears throat> for some reason on my console it doesn't show Mongolia. Yeah, it's not out on console yet. Yeah. Like something with Rattler so I can use it on Emerald Lake. That would be nice. Unfortunately, none of the boats, well, the Congo boat has uh, rod holders. That's about it, though. Congo boat has rod holders, and that's about it. They made it so you could buy one version of the game, just like fishing, hunting, or the option, or both. Um, I mean, that is kind of what it is going to be right now, except they're just not going to be combined. Um, <clears throat> so, yep. Yeah. The fake outdoorsman is still here. Well, he's still packing, you know. I understand. 
All right, this one. Oh, you got a big fish there. Ah, he's okay. He's not huge. I've seen bigger. Our uh, our walk is really bad right now. Are we just not going the right speed? And we're not going the right speed. Give this another go. I really haven't been paying attention to uh, how good my walk is. Words that uh, aren't spoken very often, but. God, just give me the freaking. That's the issue. You get too close to you, they just start pulling the mouse out of the water. Let's get some more room here. Keep up the amazing work, Baden. Perkins, thank you, thank you. I love the stream, but I have to go. Hope you catch a unique. Thank you. Yeah, we already did too, so that's perfect. That is perfect. Can't wait for the new fishing games. I can't either. It's going to be awesome. Five pound bass on a fly rod. Very nice, dude. Jealous. I think mine was only like one and a half or something like that. He wasn't too big, but it was sure it was still cool when he got it. Oh my god, just keep a two star walking. Alright, I'm done with this mouse. It's dumb. Stupid. Stupid mouse. Let's see, what else do we got? We got Hunched Runner we can throw down there. Six Ot Hunched Runner. Let's see here. Do we have a better one? Yeah, we do. Okay. I was going to say. Some better ones to throw. What do you think? What do you think? I missed it. What do you think you should get? A bass boat or a large keep net? Large keep net amount, uh, allow you to get... You know, larger amount of fish, obviously, but uh, a bass boat, you know, you can drive around, I guess, and fill up your small keep net. <laughs> Both hunting and fishing, they could make it a free to free to download and play like the Hunter Classic or Fishing Planet, free to download and play. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know how many people know this, but back in the day, the Hunter Classic was not not exactly free to play like you you could only play one map and shoot like two species um so for like for like nine years that's the way it was um you could you could go hunt for uh, mule deer that was pretty much it for a long long time i don't think people remember those days of the hunter classic um, free-to-play games, I think, are very difficult to figure out financially. Um, I'm not sure if... I'm not sure how, like, willing I would be to create one. <laughs> Got 135 uni tarpon, dude. Very nice. Come on, big fish. Come on, big fish. All right, I'm about to give up on these tame. They're being ridiculous. Casting towards your boat, wolf boy. I'm gonna hook you. Maxi, hi. How's it going? Finally found you on live stream. Good deal, man. Need another unicorn in the boat. I agree. I agree. What's the deal? Why can't we get another unicorn in the boat? Maybe we'll hook. Oh, why are we using a four odd? I thought I threw the seven odd on here. What the heck? I thought they were both seven knots, but they weren't. There we go. Silly me. There we go. What's new in fishing? I haven't played in forever. Well, there's a new Mongolian map out with Taman, which is pretty cool. People like that. It was a nine pound bass. Wow, Jody, that's a good bass. That's a really good bass. What's your biggest in real life fish, Jody? Uh, my biggest in real life fish was a red drum in Florida, which you might have or might not have seen the video for. It was on the Modern Day Outdoorsman, our entire Florida trip, where we uh, caught that red drum. Um, supposedly around 34 pounds. It was 43 inches long. It was a good size red, red drum. 
54 pound taming. Nothing to write home about, but that's not bad. Do you know who the Hunter D33 is? Yes, I do. Talked to him a few times. It's about all I know. About all I know. Classic had a bunch of animals locked behind a membership and it wasn't that long ago. Oh, absolutely, Nathaniel. Absolutely. <laughs> I re a lot of people don't don't realize that. Um, but I, I think Fishing Planet is just struggling to stay afloat. Um, I think they make money. Um, they recent like if you remember, Fishing Planet recently did their uh What what the heck, dude? Why am I going? When did I switch lures? Uh, they recently tried to do their merchandising thing. Remember how they made, like, Fishing Planet, like, uh, like rods and reels and, and hats and stuff like that? And, uh, they didn't do very well. Um, I don't believe. I hope they sold all their inventory, but who's to say? Um, here we go. Back to the hunch runner. Sick with a stomach virus? No way, Baden. That's terrible. When's it come out on PS4? I don't know. I don't know. I hope in a week or two. Cali open country that has hunting and fishing. It doesn't look the best quality, so anyone has played it, please tell me how it is. Yeah. I mean, that's usually what you'll find with the games that have hunting and fishing, is they're usually kind of meh. I th genuinely, genuinely, I think the best game with hunting and fishing in it ever made is Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> So, uh, I, I'm not sure how that's possible, but I, <laughs> that's just how it is, I guess. Um, I think it's just a lot to take, take in. I think it's a lot to try and handle at the same time. So, uh, just difficult to, difficult to do well, I guess. He just recently posted a new video on it. Ah, that's okay. Now, if Mongelli got released on mobile, I don't. I don't, Cole. I'm sorry. Lucas Chapman, do I remember you? I remember everyone, Lucas. Come on now. How come? How come everyone expects me to remember them, but they don't remember the one thing that I remember everyone who ever shows up in a live stream, huh? I I only have one thing for you to remember. You know, I. I I'm over here, you know, expecting, you're expecting me to remember like 30,000 names, you know. All you gotta remember is that I remember everyone. That's all I ask. We're gonna move to another location now. I feel like we have like maybe half an hour to catch some more fish. Will I be getting Reventuli Coast early? Most likely. It's usually how it happens. Usually how it happens. Let's go ashore here. I was getting really good luck with the Arctic Grayling at this location. Here. Can't remember what I was catching them on, though. Let's see here. We were catching them. On Boiled Red row. Oh, that was the Bacal Amul. Okay. What about the other one? That was a bark beetle larva. Okay, so we'll throw on both of those. See if we can catch uh, catch one of them. Um, the reason I switched to the feeder rods was because I figured that two aught hooks was the way to go. If you could get two aught hooks, three aught seemed to be too big most of the time, um, and one aught was too small. It seems so. I I just figured I'd throw feeder rods out with two aught hooks, and it worked out. Been catching a lot of uniques. Will they add new maps to the fishermen? Probably not. Fisherman is abandoned. Was there a pun intended? It was not, but uh, I see that now. <laughs> Hunter Call of Water and making a fishing game. Julian, I, I have heard something about that. Correct, yes. Um, maybe it was the video I just put out a little while ago about it, or uh, the fact that I'm referencing it in the title of this live stream. But I, I, have, I have taken notice, my man. Yes, indeed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is it going? There's a lot of nibbling going on. Here we go. All right, I see you. That's a gar. That's a grayling. 
Took out a little bit of line in the beginning there. Could be a trophy at least. I hope anyway. Skyrim Anniversary Edition of Monster Hunter World Ice Run on the top hunting and fishing games I enjoy. <laughs> Rob some rando between spots. Oh, trophy Arctic Grailing, right on. <clears throat> I'm going for the uni though. I want to. I want to see some unicorns dance, bro. Oh, you broke a hundred likes. I agree, Leaf. I I agree. We did. That's why I haven't been talking about it. I made a deal. Once we pass a hundred likes, I stop talking about it. <laughs> Drop your old phone in the Arkansas River. No, no. Oh no. I bet your parents are uh, not exactly happy about that, eh? We got the three yacht crankbait. I don't think we're gonna catch anything, but we'll, we'll toss it out just in case. Do you think Fishing Planet will continue to drop maps for a while? I, I bet you. I mean, they're in the middle of a war right now, and they still put out this Slang River. So I mean, you you'd think these fish are really picky now and then. Yeah, that's true. Ain't that the truth? Do you know if they will make a master fish, a monster fish, for Selang River? It wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me. I mean, right now, the the Bose Halloween Extravaganza Year 3 is looking pretty, uh, looking pretty bare. Only got like three, four fish to catch. Mr. Gold! Ember. Right on. Thank you, thank you for the, the sub. When you went on Fishing Planet, you did not see the Slang River. Why? Um, are you on console by chance? Because it's not out on console yet. How do you catch catfish on Louisiana? Literally throw on like any bait and you'll catch catfish out there. <laughs> any bait that you can find, just throw it on a hook. Probably catch catfish. Is this a small whitefish? What is this thing? It's a bacal. Man, it's really dark. Not expect that. Okay. You know, for um, for this other hook out here, been seeing Arctic Graylin jumping this entire time. Wolf Boy says he lost an uni. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I'll believe it when I see it. Oh my God! That fish flew out of the air. Almost lost it. This is just a regular one. Pretty sure. Yes, sir. Just jumping, jumping grayling right here. Good deal. Consider joining the Discord. Very true. Very true, Beagle. Very true. They weren't mad I had to buy a new one. I was catching flatheads. Ah. Ah. You should release a video of your intro because it's so... Just, just the intro as a video, huh? <laughs> oh god. I tell you what though, we got 153 people here. I'll let you know on a secret on a secret note. The video coming out tomorrow is a work of art like that. I mean, that's what it it makes you want to do that with your hand and your mouth combined. Uh it is a work of art. It's a hunter call the wild video. But I promise you, no one has made a video like it, ever. Um, I say that without ever looking it up to see if anyone has made a video like it, but I'm 99% sure <laughs> that no one has made a video like it. Um, it is a work of art. I have edited the first seven minutes of it so far, and I have, and I, this is coming from me, uh, just from me editing it, I have been enjoying just editing it, um, which is very difficult for me to do. Um, usually, I don't really enjoy the editing process so much, but I have been really entertained and enjoying the editing process of this video. So I hope you all enjoy it. Um, I might even put it out on a premiere just to see, just to see what people think about it. Uh, I'll probably put it out at like noon, 12 o'clock p.m. Central tomorrow or something like that. And maybe we'll just all watch it together. I just noticed that I have a two, three odd hook on here. Let's throw a two odd on here. Maybe we'll actually catch something. What about this one? We have a two odd on the camera. Good deal. 
I was just throwing a three on on the other one for some reason. Do more of the day videos like the blue crab one. Yeah, right on, Robert. I definitely will. Are you ever going to do a video of your setup? I, I change my setup every video, dude. I don't know what you mean. I mean, if you're talking about, like, specifically the Slang River setup, then yes. Uh, Thursday, I think. Maybe Wednesday, but if I do Wednesday, I'm either going to have to put out an additional video or I'm going to have to skip Thursday or something like that. Uh, later, dude. Hey, take care, fake outdoorsman. Jiro became a hub master. My God, Jiro. Thank you. Thank you, dude. My goodness gracious. Another hub map. I'm going to have to change the outro of my video again. It's going to be like Jiro Vang. It's going to say it right there. Hub master. Appreciate it, man. That's awesome. That is sweet. Always love to see that. Well, hope you're having a great night, Jiro. Hope I'm saying that right. I think Gyro is a cool name, too. The name is Gyro. I don't know why I gave it that accent. Just sounds exotic. Gyro. The name is Gyro. I am a master of jujitsu, and I will kick your butt. I don't know. Just fits. Just all goes together well. How long have you been playing Fishing Planet? We've been playing it since... Lava64, thanks for the sub. You've got to be kidding me. You've been sub -subbed. You've been sub for years. Um... We've been playing it since, what, 2019? 2020? We haven't been... Patty Allen, thank you, thank you. We haven't been playing it for... We've been playing it since 2021. 2020? I'm just throwing out years now. Maybe it's 2020... 20, 20, 2020. Gaming month 2020, maybe? So maybe like two years. Off now. You should make a video about fishing in Fishing Planet Mobile. Carlos, I have put out two videos? Maybe it's just one. Maybe I just put out one video about it. I've put out one video at least of Fishing Planet Mobile. If you haven't seen it, you need to look it up, man. Uh, timing Catcher performed a certain number of successful strikes in a row. I didn't even know that was a thing. But good deal. I'm a timing capturer. Throw this over here. <clears throat> my game oh my gaming setup huh is that that's what you want to know about we did um oh, i'm gonna have to find it come over and play a game as a complete novice and everyone can make mean comments in the chat. <laughs> uh you know what happens when i play a game that i know nothing about right uh there's 141 people watching now but if i'm playing a game that i know nothing about and no one cares about it then usually that's like anywhere between 24 and like 38 people. Um, so uh, it, it's honestly not as bad as you think just because the people who actually stay and watch are generally pretty nice people. <laughs> but I enjoy, I, I agree, it would be fun to just, uh, to just burn me the entire time as I play a game I've never played before. What does the dog mean? The dog. I, I, I have two dogs. Two elk hounds. And, uh... And I put them into all my stuff. All the animations feature the dogs. <laughs> miss you, Bo. Aw, oh, Maddox. M I miss you. I miss you. Where should you go if you're level 27? What would you do if you were level 27? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Probably get ready to go to St. Croix, I suppose. Be fishing at Everglades. Go to St. Croix eventually. Ki Kindle? Is it Kindle? Kindle Kai? Maybe? Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Wanaka Wall says 4 odd hook. No way, Wanaka. You're crazy. You're 12 and 6-1. Is that weird? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's weird. It might be uh, a bit rarer than usual. But who's to say you don't just like stop growing right now and then all of your friends pass you in high school, you know? I don't know. You're super tall right now, but in high school, like lots of people are taller than you. That happened to me. I hit my growth spurt in middle school when I was, uh, what would that be? 
yeah, 13, right? Yeah, when I was 13, grew up, hit hit 5'8 or whatever, towered over most people, and then uh, and then that was where I stayed for the rest of my life. <laughs> Everyone passed me. <laughs> How do you catch suckers in real life? That is a great question. I don't know. Throw something that a sucker likes to eat, I guess. Little worms. Ma maggots, maybe? I'm not sure. Totally getting the angler when that releases. I agree. I'm going to get the angler as well. Don't you worry. I'm 12 and like 5'1". on. Alright, the bite's slow here. I think I'm ready to move on. Move on to a different time, everyone. It's it's that time. It's 8.30. We got an hour to go. We got an hour to go. Let's go ahead. Let's see here. Gonna go to nighttime. Yeah, buddy. This is gonna be some supreme top water action. Um, first off, though, uh, we're gonna do a small ad break so I can run and do a stuff and then I'll stuff and then I'll be back. All right. So uh, let's do that. See you in a bit. Don't know which one to play. Here, let's do this one. Hey, Dude Hub now has memberships here on YouTube. That's right. For only a dollar ninety-nine a month, you can show off your love with a BZ Hub badge of honor next to your name and giving you access to all of your favorite emotes, such as King Bjorn. Gotham, Mad Lad, and Get Rexed. More emotes will be added with more members. But I have lots of money. What else could I do? If you want to support the BZ Hub more, check out the Hub Lord membership at $9.99 a month. On top of a badge of honor and your favorite emotes, you will also get your name featured at the end of every BZ Hub episode. But lots of money. For those of you with a cash burning a hole in your pocket, check out the Hub Master Membership at $19.99 a month. Not only do you get the badge of honor, emotes, and your name featured at the end of every episode, but you also get a complimentary BC Hub Membership on Twitch for our weekly Twitch streams. Plus, you know, everyone will know you're a Hub Master, and who doesn't want that title? So get off your booty and join the BC Hub today! Alrighty. Good deal. This is great. This ad is awesome. <laughs> the beautiful ad break. Yeah, those my ads are old, man. They're old. Did you see my hair and my beard in those in the ad? <laughs> oh god. Alright, let's switch it. We're gonna go fishing. I say that as if it's something new. Hey guys, let's go try some fishing, huh? I don't know what we've been doing this whole time. Guess what, YouTube wolf boy? T-Bone! Boosh! Absolutely destroyed your boat. Got ya. Got ya. Get, get wrecked. Do you think the angler will have fly fishing? I've joined the stream, so sorry if y'all have already talked about this no uh we haven't talked about it but uh yeah maybe always possibility eh always possibility let's switch to the uh let's gonna try the mouse early on here 119 pound trout senor caught goodness gracious 119 pound tame and nice nice catch there. I guess you're way over there, aren't you? What the heck? Let me scrolling through all these lures. All right, let's catch a biggin. Biggin on the mouse. So cool. Well, thank you. I, I'm i not sure how many people would agree with you, but I appreciate it all the same. You're at least giving me a boost to my confidence. 
goaded at. Go Oi! Oi! He's diving. He's going down. Boop. That was supposed to be like the sound of a sonar for some reason. I don't know. I was just thinking of a submarine. I don't think he's that big either. He's just in the 40s, I would think. How much do you think the angler gonna cost? Ooh, good question. Maybe $39.99. Maybe full price. Who knows? Could be $59. I think it depends on how much they put out with the base game. I think if it's just First off, if it's one map, I think it'll be even cheaper. I think it'll be like, uh, um, I don't, I don't even know, 35 or something. 45 pounds there, nice. 45 pounds there. That'll work there. Gir girl, I don't know, I'm going with that. Never try to catch the Siberian Tame with 20 pound gear or lighter. I just tried it and it took forever and it was insane. I went almost entire map fighting the dang thing. Yeah, YouTube Wolf Boy. Um, I guess if I was paying attention, I probably could have told you that. Remember the other night when we were playing online and we were on the bank and uh, and we were using the, the best rod in the game and we hooked into a good taman and he took us out to like 320 feet. And after fighting him for like 15 minutes, I finally just uh, stopped reeling him in and let him go so that he would unhook himself. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's uh, that was on a 24 pound rod, so. So yeah. I guess if you were in a boat, it'd probably be better. But we were not in a boat. <laughs> 11 and 6, 11. Oh my golly. Oh my golly. Are you a tree? Are you a tree? Oh, there's a fish. Oi, boys. Let's go. Hooked up, bro. Bro. Hooked up the freaking Siberian Husky. I mean, to tame it. He's a tame it. He's not a Husky. Do you think Taemans and Husky, like, do you think if they, like, saw one another, there'd be some sort of genetic thing that they would be like, Whoa! You! And then the other one would be like, Ah, you! I hate you! I don't know. Maybe, though. What other things are from Siberia? Tigers? You think, you think, you think anyone has, like, a picture of a tiger eating a Taemin? That'd be pretty sweet. Be like the coolest fishing picture ever. Tiger eating a big old taman. Fishing Planet Mobile should be coming to Android sometime soon. I can't wait for it. Hey, right on. Yeah, man, that'd be awesome. Oh, did you know you may favorite YouTuber of all time? You always so nice and you always make me smile. Right on. Well, I appreciate it, Maddox. I'm glad. I'm glad to be. Number one, the best around. No one can ever bring me down. Well, I appreciate it, Max. Really do. How I miss any big fish? Oh, you did. Right in the very beginning, like one of the first fish we caught. First three fish, wasn't it? Giant uni taming. Wonder how the open world aspect will work out, because I consider Fishing Planet open world. I hope they walk. Driving works out to a lot. Fishing Planet. Muhammad! Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think open world-wise, it'll be like the Hunter Call of the Wild, except for instead of, like, spotting animals and shooting them, it'll be, like, spotting bodies of water and throwing, uh, baits and whatnot. Trophy Siberian Thamen. 74 pounds there. Right on the right on. You are three? Are you three? Whoa! Big fish, big fish. Come on, Uni Taman. You gotta be out there. This fish was horizontal as hook, yeah. Owen oh, Hartman, hey, how's it going, Owen? Gotta uh, have to take a swig. Take a swig of the old Brucey. Old root beer. Mmm. What's my favorite lake in Fishing Planet? Mmm. Ooh! Ooh! Grab it, bro. There we go, hooked up. Hooked up to another guy. Mm, I don't know. Weeping Willows is up there though. It's it's up there. But I'm a sucker for carp. I love carp, dude. I love fishing for carp. So I mean the game has one really good location for fishing for carp in the game. And it's Weeping Willows, so of course it's gonna be one of my favorite spots. 
Just caught a 100 pound alligator gar on the crawfish six up barbless hook wanaka wall. Wow, good one. That is a good fish. I, I think, uh, I don't know if I've even got a 100 pound alligator gar. I know I've got like 99. Something like that. Uh, we can look here in just a second. You should OST another catfishing video. R right on. In real life or in the game? R G F T A M S. Question mark. You're getting Ultimate Fishing Simulator. Well, good deal. Don't pay more than $10 for everything. Promise me that. Get it on sale. I don't think it's worth more than $10 now. It's a it's fun game. Uh, it has its moments. But I don't think it's worth more than 10 bucks. Mounting a dock and watching the stream helps make it easier. Cole Sarkey, that's awesome, dude. That's super cool. 54 pound, 54 pound. Big fish, big fish. Won to see a big fish. Won to catch the big fish. Won to keep the big fish. And then I caught a near state record barracuda. Oh, way to go, David. That sounds like a chant there, too. Way to go, David. Mm, mm. Way to go, David. That's pretty sweet. Very nice. You're the best. Bastion DDI in gaming. Hi. And I will always be the best. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Who's to say? Who's to say? Best root beer is a and w, No doubt. I tell you what, I, I don't know how root beer is made, but I am a sucker for uh, fresh root beer. I like the county fair and all that. Oh my goodness. Someone tells me they have fresh root beer. I have no idea how they got fresh root beer or how they made it, but uh, my God, do I love fresh root beer. Will you give me a two-star walking? What is the deal? The other day we were doing this completely different and we were getting three star walking and now I'm com I'm doing it a completely different way and only getting two stars. That's the deal. Got to give us a house tour. Oh, you don't want a house tour. <laughs> oh golly. You I mean the closest thing to a house tour is just like when I post videos or uh, post like photos and stuff on Instagram and whatnot, sometimes you'll you'll get a look at the rest of my house just with it being in the background. If only it could have been certified. I agree. Once I get the mount, put the LR share in the Discord. It'll be a dead mount with an American widgeon and pintail. Very cool. Pintail sounds sweet, man. David Probus is here. How's it going, David? You've spoken the chant. You shall catch the uni. I surely hope so. I'm struggling to get a good uh, walk right now, unfortunately. We used to have one here called IBC, and that was amazing. IBC, huh? IBC and good root beer is what you used to say when you walked in. And they would go, ha ha, haven't heard that one before. And then you'd go, shut up. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just talking talk at this point. Okay, we got a solid two walk. Oh my god, why did you go down the one? I don't get this walk right now, dude. Two. Oh! Grab it. Oh, you pain in the neck, you. That's it. We're switching. Give me that ding buzz bait. Where are you? Where are you? Do you think they go after a nymph? They might not go after a nymph. Let's see. Do, do, do. They only go after shads. Stupid. I need an X-Series Shad is what I need. All right, here we go. Root beer just tastes too sweet to you? I understand. I understand. That's why I say about Mountain Dew. Wow, 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 wow. I didn't even have enough time to to reel it into the top. 
That awesome beer in Taman just came up and grabbed it. Like a peach on Sunday. I don't know. Like, like, what's something that people go up and grab? Like a, a, a sweet slice of apple pie. Go with that. Told me you're gonna catch a big uni so I, I would really appreciate it if I caught a big uni soon. Oh, golly, about lost this fish though. Got lost out on 41 pounds of Siberian Damon. What are we thinking? Anyone gonna take guesses before we get it in here? I'm thinking, f I'll be generous. We'll go 48, but I'm really thinking like 41. He sure has taken a lot of room out. A lot of, a lot of line out for 41 though. So maybe 48. We'll be generous. What is he? 46. That was pretty close. He was only 47. Then I would have only been one pound off. 43. We got a 51, 43. 51.5. Man, everyone was really positive. They were all thinking I was going to be a good size. Don't drink soda much anymore. Just drink water and sweet tea. That's not a bad way to go about it, Kyle. Not a, you're a stronger man than me, mentally. Maybe physically, too. I don't know. My golly. Maybe you're like a state champion powerlifter. I don't know. Uh, documentary bow sounds amazing. A documentary. Do you think there will be an ocean fish because DLC is in the Call of the Wild Angler? I don't know. It would be nice, though, wouldn't it? Don't drink water. Not terrible. These guys give a lot of XP. Hey, Bo, I've been watching your videos and search for about two years now. Keep up the good work. Timothy Desco. Yeah, I know, bro. Jeez, you, you've been around. I know Timothy. Really, it's rough snakes here around here. I ain't sticking my hand in any hole in the river without knowing what's in there. <laughs> Uh, almost level 30. Do you know a way to level up fast? Oh, do I? Do I? Do I? I don't know. Uh, I always just tell people to watch the Fishing Planet Beginner series. You know, did you know the what? The YK? The YK? Did you know that every episode of the BZ Hub Beginner series of Fishing Planet actually in the title? shows what level I was when I went there. What? I know, right? Super helpful. So if you're like level 24, you can go into the series and see what I was doing at level 24. Or if you're level like 31, you can go in there and see like what I was doing around level 31, that sort of thing. Super helpful, super helpful. I don't mean to like blow my own horn here, but Toodaloo, I guess. Come on, fish. You freaking fish. All right, I think this is going to be our last cast if we don't get anything here. If we don't get anything here, I'm going to take a break from this, I guess. Come on. Come on. They should add bow fishing. Well, aren't we opening up a can of worms again? Bow fishing is hunting. It's not fishing. <laughs> Everyone knows this. The only thing that it has to do with fishing is that there's fish involved. All I'm saying, all I'm saying, if we had a big old rod and threw on like a salt block or something on the end of it and then like a deer came up and like started licking the salt block and then we like hooked a deer and then we started reeling it in and stuff like that they'd call it they'd call it deer hunting they wouldn't even call it deer fishing because there's no fish involved they'd call it deer hunting even though you're using a rod and reel it's the same thing with bow fishing there's no fishing involved the only fishing involved is that there's a fish but there's no hook and line there's no rods and reels you're literally shooting something and reeling it in somehow instead of just letting it go die. You know, if you shot a deer and then reeled it in with a super strong winch, you know, basically be the same thing as bow fishing. 
instead you just shoot the deer and then let it die let it let it go bleed out and track it the next day or whatever that night see what i mean opened up a can of worms and we lost 14 people because they were tired of me talking thanks a lot Nothing beats sweet tea in your opinion. I get it. Is that a fish coming at it? Ah, I could have thought we had a, a fish coming at us right now. But no. No fish. Alrighty. Well, we, uh, let's just go somewhere else. And we'll go back and try to catch that. Uh, I'm trying to remember which day I came out here and caught those unis. Let's go out here and try a diff different spot different spot bow fishing is hunting fish not fishing fish i agree right right <laughs> so uh i've always said that if the hunter call of the wild wants to add bow fishing go for it bro i think bow fishing would be great in the hunter call of the wild you could have like big head carp and silver carp and stuff like that and you could like shoot up up on a boat and stuff like that and shoot the carp the silver and the big head you know i'm all for it i'm all for it but don't put it in the fishing game it doesn't belong it doesn't doesn't belong all right here we go we're gonna catch one of these freaking unis i want to freaking see unicorns dancing okay is it so much to ask is it so much to ask come on unis Let's see ya. Let's see ya dance. Hey, Bo, haven't been here in a while. Went out to creek, threw out some corn. Next thing I know, I'm reeling in seven pounds of trout. My goodness gracious. Well, that sounds like a good time, Bobby Hill. Sounds like a good time. I would like to say thank you for the beginner series. I have been watching what equipment you had, what rods you had, and where you are fishing, Shannon Torres. I appreciate it. I appreciate your attention to detail. It's greatly appreciated. You have no idea. <laughs> Say I'm going hunting for fish. It's true. It's true. Does sound weird to say. Muscle Man Ray's here. How's it going, Muscle Man Ray? We got the Bacal. Trophy Bacal. All right. We're one away. One away. Let's get it back out there. Let's get it back out there. Four aught, you're telling me. I tell you, if we put a four aught on here, we will not catch anything. In fact, you know, uh, you know what? Just for you, I'm gonna put a four aught on this. Do you have like a bait? I'm gonna wait till you tell me a bait too. I'm gonna put an X series four aught. If we have a chance of catching a fish out here, by golly, we're gonna catch it with the X series four aught. What bait you want me to use, Wanaka? You tell me. I do want to try spear fishing. What, what sort of bait do you use to catch spears, huh? What are you supposed to do? Huh? You tell me. Get over here. This is a small fish, dude. Oh, ah, okay, no. The meter's kind of maxed out for a second there. I thought maybe we got some. They should add halibut. That would be cool. I agree. Little three pound Arctic grayling right on. Did we lose our music or something? What's going on? This has never happened in a long time. Where do I find the pike slasher? I've got all the big monsters available at level 30. I have no idea where to go. Can you tell me? Uh, yes, David. I can tell you. I can tell you to watch the Halloween extravaganzas on the BZ Hub where we've caught all of the monster fish and you can see where I have caught them all. How did, How is it that no one seems to know about the monster fish videos? I don't understand. They're literally the best made monster fishing videos on YouTube. And yet, it, it's all people always come here and act like I've never caught them before. What's the deal? It's a big thing, don't you know? There's costumes and makeup and stories. It's all beautiful. And yet no one, no one, no one knows about it. You've tried the spot. At the right time. With the right bait and everything. Hmm? Hmm? You say so. 
Helped me a lot during my journey in the game. Long, long us. Thank you. Well, good deal. Glad you enjoy them. That's too, cool, too. It helped me go from the high teens to 45. High teens. 45. That could, that could be a person's name. High teen 45. High teen 45 here. Going to show you how to catch a bacala mule on a, on a feeder rod using boiled red row and a two-odd hook. I can put bow fishing DLC in the fishing game. Make it free so you can add bow fishing and take it out. I guess. I don't know. Trophy. We got a trophy again. Come on, the man. Show me the money. Show me the money. Where do I find the beginner series? Oh. Go on to the BZ Hub. Click on playlists. Look for the beginner series one. I think I'm wearing glasses. I think I'm wearing a fishing hat. Not 100% certain. Was that last song just like super quiet or something? Now I'm hearing music again. Is carb good for money? I need some of it. And being low level, I need some of it. What? <laughs> um, at a low level, carb are not great for money. Don't, don't, don't chase them. Don't chase them. It's not worth it. I should come duck hunting in, in Texas. Dallas Fisher, I would love to go duck hunting in Texas. Don't you, don't you, uh, don't, don't you think I, I don't? I don't know what I'm trying to say there. Don't, don't you believe, how about I just say believe it? Believe you me, I would love to go duck hunting in Texas. I feel like that's something more I need to do. I need to go visit some of our subscribers out and about go fishing with them and stuff. I think that'd be fun. It'd be a fun little series we could do. We'll call it Bo Goes Fishing with subscribers. Really original name. Right. Had to close my windows. All right, we got we got another one. Come on, give me Noonie. Beetle Bark Larva, four odd hook. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Another Arctic Grayling there. So we got the Beetle Bark Larva. Uh, four odd hook. Which one are we doing? Or we'll throw it on this one. Alright, we got it. Banded waterfowl. That's it. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that would be pretty cool, Dallas. Love your video. Well, thank you, Timothy. Appreciate it. Any tips to catch cat channel catfish at Lone Star? Uh, dog food, cheese, uh, two great baits to use for uh, catfish. I will say, like, the catfish don't really give you that much XP or money, so there's really, like, no reason to go for them other than, like, trying to complete a mission or something. Um, but, but, yeah, go for it, man. Snakeheads in Florida are so fun to catch. I bet they would be. Yeah, I bet they would be. PC kind of missing, missed grinding at Lone Star. Been fishing the Congo on Xbox lately. Interesting. I don't think in a game called the Angler you should be able to bowfish or fish because you're not angling. I agree, right? Ugh. Bagheera just preaching to the choir here, right? Come on down to Alberta. I would I would love to go up to Alberta. Uh, believe you me, that would be pretty sweet. We are gonna be, uh, sounds like we're gonna be moving to Milwaukee here um, coming next year. So I'll be closer to Alberta a little bit. <laughs> Bo goes on tour, there you go. Bo goes on a fishing tour. My dream job is to be duck hunting guys. So if you never get that job, I would take you on a hunt. Well, thank you, Dallas. That sounds amazing. There's actually, um, I know at K-State, Kansas State University here in Kansas, I'm sure they have it at other places too. There's actually like a guide. Sorry, we'll wait for this. Wait for this. Pamela Wright, thank you, thank you. There's actually like a, a mate, you can major in like a guide service. Another one. Bjorn is just freaking finding people left and right here. The Phase Farmer. 
Thank you for the sub. But yeah, you can major in like uh, guiding. And uh, I've heard of people doing that and then like moving to Alaska and guiding fishing trips and stuff. So I don't know, maybe something to look into or, you know, just uh, contact people as you're like nearing getting out of high school or something and see if you can find a place somewhere. Favorite video, the monster fish video. Thank you. Well, right on, Roger. Appreciate it. Is this map out on every platform? Don't believe so, Wyatt. Don't believe so. They should add a saltwater uh, map and fish plant that has marlins, tuna, mahi, and more. Oh, Shin. What the... No way. Awful idea. No one would enjoy that. I mean, we can ask the chat right now. Chat, would you enjoy a saltwater fishing map with, like, goliath, like, groupers, and mahi, and marlins, and tuna? You know, let's throw in fly fishing. Uh, fly fishing for that stuff too and stuff like that. I, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna see a bunch of no's showing up yeah, Yes, hard yes, no that is uh, a saltwater fishing map and fly fishing has been like two of the most requested things For the two years that I've played this game. I have heard for two years straight How Everyone wants saltwater fishing, and everyone wants fly fishing. Um, so, you know, yeah. It's like, it's like walking up to a bunch of people who, like, love dessert and being like, you know what? We should have ice cream and cake. Call me crazy. We should have ice cream and cake. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't think anyone's gonna say no. They obviously want ice cream and cake. The chefs are just being mean, and they're saying no. Or they're just not saying anything at all. Because that's more Fishing Planet style. They're just not saying anything at all. Another fish on, another Arctic grayling, but we're just getting small ones today. I tell you what. Here, I'll, I'll fill you in a little bit about our video coming out on a Wednesday or Thursday. Um, I tried recording a video for Selang River three times and my file got corrupted twice out of those three times and finally on the third time I separated I like caught a you I caught a unique and then I then I started recording again and made it and made another one um, finally finally got everything worked out here we go Wanaka we got your four odd hook here Hopefully it's a big one. It's a it's a grayling. It's a grayling. Is it a big one? Oh, just 2.6 pounds. That's all right though. Oh, I hit that right on the money there. Right on the money there. Hello from upstate New York. How's it going, Taz? That's a fun name to say. Taz. Hector. Because it's fun. 30 hour drive from Milwaukee to your town. 30 hour drive. Oh, shoot. That's only like one day in six hours of, of non stop driving. <laughs> I want a mini game where you can, ha where you have to try to snag as many trees as you can while you. Can. <laughs> I think instead of that, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just a mini game of trying to get snags out. Uh, the mini game would be called uh, fishing with, uh, fishing with your nieces or something like that. Fishing with toddlers, and the entire time you're just getting snags out of trees and putting worms on hooks and stuff. Um, that sounds enjoyable. Let's do that instead of uh, saltwater fishing. Want to see an Australian map catch those barramundi? That sounds pretty cool. I, I'm not against that either. And they told me that they won't put fly fishing in the game. Is that right, Winston? Well, you are lucky because they don't talk to me whatsoever. It's crazy. I don't know what they have against me, but they really don't like me for some reason. 
It's a zero slap monster. Monster. Sup, Bo. Adon. Sup. Hello, quick question. Which is better, the fisherman fishing plant or fishing plant? Wheat gum. Just fishing plant. No fisherman. Uh, the fisherman is completely abandoned. Don't play the fisherman. It's a waste of time. Um, what's the best bet? What's what's the bet XP fish in the Congo? Uh, I think it's the Goliath tiger fish, isn't it? Pretty sure. It might be the African tiger fish. You just need to catch more of them. But the Goliath tiger fish is up there. Ooh, we might have an unicorn on here, boys. Boys and girls and everything else. Oh, it's, it's pulling. It's pulling with the bark beetle larva. Two odd hook. Finally got into it. Hey, 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 Beagle. Beagle, can you prep the unicorns? We need to get their dancing shoes back on. Get get those get those damps I guess they're hoofs. Get those dancing hoofs back on. Got got to prep those unicorns. Trying to go on a teal hunt. That sounds cool. Yeah, good old teal hunt. That'd be pretty neat. This fishing type thing. More cat ghost fishing type thing? Yeah, exactly. I'd rather have ice cream and cake than ice cream and cupcake. Oh, now we're getting specific. What type of cake, though? And what type of ice cream? If everyone here could combine one one uh, one flavor of cake and one flavor of ice cream together in one bowl, what would you choose? That's why I want to know. I'm asking the important questions today, okay? You know, I'm keeping it very serious. You never know if it's your alarm or mine. Look at this. Is this going to be a PB grailing? Goodness gracious, this dude's like fighting. Like a champ. Like a champ. Get over here, Muhammad. Muhammad Ali. He's the champ. He's the champ, bro. Lego! It is a personal record. 8.2 pounds, bro. Whoa, what happened to the unicorns? Oh, okay, there they go. <laughs> they froze up. It froze up. Oh, let's go, let's go. Fantastic, fantastic. Love to see it, love to see it. Ugh. Boy, we were out here for long enough, weren't we? God, it's the second time being out here trying to catch an uni. Let's uh, see what Hino thinks about it. Yeah, buddy. Look at you, Hino, looking pretty pretty fresh like you're about to go to your high school prom this honestly it kind of looks like something he know would wear to a high school prom he would be like I looked up historical data on high school proms and prom comes from the Mongolian word for uh, uh, nice attire so this is why I'm dressed up like this good idea he know way to go bud you're absolutely nailing it don't change a thing Any tips for grinding Lone Star? Absolutely. Uh, spinning rod and reel. Fish for uh, spotted bass until you have enough money to go to mud water. Or if you want to try Rocky Lake for the first time or something, try that. Why is this rod way over here? Strange. Must have had a bite and I just didn't get it. But uh, yeah. Catch the spotted bass and then leave. Go somewhere else. Alrighty, we're gonna move somewhere, everybody. We are moving. Moving, we're cruising. Cru 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 moving, cruising. Cruising, moving. I'm curious. Let's throw out a bottom rod here. We might, might learn something. Davis. Or is it Daboos? Daboos. Hola. Uh... Oh, I'm blanking on his name. Jerome Bettis. Daboos. What level do you have to be to get out there? A uh, level 48. Level 48 there, man. All right, I'm curious. Curious if we can catch a uh, Uni Taman on a day like today. 
on a day like today. We're throwing out the bottom route. I've not, I haven't tried that on this spot. Might be exactly what's needed. Who knows? Throw a different hook on this guy. Yo there, Bo, just getting on. How do you like the new map, and do you think it's appropriate for its level? Um, uh, I think it's appropriate. However, I don't think that the Taman give you enough money and XP. Um, I think that given, given the right situation, you'd catch more money and XP from the White Sturgeon at San Joaquin than, uh, than the Taman here. So, I don't think it's really worth it because of that. But it's a fun place, don't get me wrong. Yellow shads on a jig head will always work for predator fish. We'll ride on idiots animated. What should I do at level 34 in Fishing Planet? Oh man, watch the BZL Beginner series, of course. Um, level 40, 34, I don't know. Fishing at the... Uh, fishing wherever you want to. Fishing Everglades, get ready to go to St. Croix to fish for pike. Whenever you can uh, get a match rod and go to St. Croix, I'd go there. Where is the best spot on Emerald Lake? The best spot on Emerald Lake is standing out on the starting dock and casting towards the tallest tree as far as you can with a narrow spoon and then reeling it in at three speed stop and go. Oh, 43, 43 pound? I didn't really see it, actually. You think if I grind at the Congo for 30 days, I can make it to level 30, 80? Eh, I bet you'll make it to the 70s. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on how much you grind, I guess. It, the weather is way too nice for me to stay inside that long. I have to, like, go out fishing. I'm fishing, like, once or twice a week. Got it? Good deal. I'm fishing at least once a week, maybe twice. If I'm lucky, three times. But usually I'm not that lucky. You have any tip for fishing a unique Chinook at Kenny Creek? You know, I used to catch all my uh, unique Chinook on big crankbaits and big medium spoons. Um, but I'm sure people, other people out there have better, uh, better tips. I know some people that like specifically only used bait and like bottom rods for Chinooks and I never was good at that I tried multiple times and I could never get it to work so it must just be a specific day that you can do that or something it's similar to San Joaquin yeah maybe I'm not sure honestly I haven't looked well good deal two smaller Siberian taming out here now one on a bottom rod and one on a match rod we just haven't haven't really come up with anything yet. Tell you what we can do though. We can do what uh, Tasty Hank over there is doing and throw out uh, throw out a mouse. Get our mouse. Boomer Pancake, thank you, thank you. I love watching you play Fishing Planet, but I just get bored playing it. <laughs> yeah. I understand. Beaver. What's up, Beaver? Whee! That's a good sized fish. Get over here, Time. You crazy dog. My native, my native Kansas accent comes out whenever I start hooking into a big fish. You on her, cuss? Get on over here! Couldn't imagine actually talking like that. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> I 
You only get to uh, where should I fish questions when your channel is basically full of fishing plan videos. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the biggest thing. That's it's probably like the biggest uh annoyance, I guess. I and I handle it some nights better than others, but like when I literally have a video that answers almost every question that most people have for this game. Um, it's a little frustrating to answer all the questions. But I think that's what live streams are for. As annoyed as I get sometimes with answering the same questions over and over again. Like, if I didn't want to do it, then I, I probably should just not have live streams. I should probably just put out videos. <laughs> But I enjoy having, doing live streams and chatting with people and stuff. So I just, I set myself up for it. Really do. <laughs> uh, next stream going to be fishing or hunting. I think it'll probably be fishing again. We did this because they announced the, uh, the hunter or the, the call of the wild, the angler call of the wild. Is the mouse lure any good? You know, I caught a uni on it. So, I mean, it's not like it's bad. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's decent. Ugh, certainly caught a lot of fish on it. Is it any better than other poppers and whatnot? I don't know. It seems to do better with Taman, that's for sure. I'm I'm curious. This guy is big, but I don't know if he's Noonie. I think he's just going to be a good-sized trophy. What do you guys think? What do you think? Wait, everyone do a little uh, verbal vote right now. I'm just going to tally it up in my head. Uh, basically like a scream meter. Everybody scream! We'll see who's the loudest. Idiots animated says bets on any. We got uh, we got another match rod going off right now. Reeling in, reeling in. There's so much noise going on right now. We got a boat going by. We got beeps going on. At least this bell on the end of my rod isn't belling anymore. <laughs> Dinging. What time you throw your spot rod? I usually throw my spot rod before I toss out all of my uh, rods. I'll toss it out like five or five to ten spots, and then I'll toss out my actual fishing rods. Possible chance of you getting Revantuli this week? You know, usually they give you a little heads up. I'm honestly hoping that uh, that they give it to us on Friday or Thursday. Probably Thursday. And uh, let us play it over the weekend to make videos and stuff. And then have us release it on Monday or Tuesday. Probably Tuesday. Um, so that's that's what I'm betting. I'm, I'm assuming. I'm betting on them giving it to us on Thursday to make videos and release on Tuesday. Oh, we will see. I'll tell you, majority of my videos are going to be waterfowl hunting. I am so excited for waterfowl hunting. It's ridiculous. Sorry, Carter, just wondering if you thought of mimicking the gym academics to use on one of your trips. No, I haven't. <laughs> That's, that is a funny, uh, funny choice, but no, I haven't. Uh, I've just been using the very simple panko and jello setup as I've always used. Man, for the amount of time we've been fighting this dude, I surely hope he's a unicorn. That'd be nice. Plus, the unicorns, you know, they're... They're, uh... They're prepped. They're ready. They're just getting warmed up. They've only danced twice this, uh, this night. So, they're, they're ready. That's not good, turkey. Is it 9.15 your time or any different time zone? No, it's 9.15, you're right. Well, it's 9.18 now, but... It took me three minutes to read your thing. <laughs> Come on, bro. Man, this rod is only... Was it 10 pounds lighter than the other one? We are getting 10 pounds lighter of a fight, evidently. Nice. David, Beagle, the, the unicorns, are they prepped? Are they prepped? Uh, 
Come on, dude. We're in the teens. We're in the teens. Get up here. Hook him. Uh, net him, he nil. Oh! It, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts inside. 70, 78 pounds. Golly, bro. Still a good sized fish. 78 pounds. I suppose I would be okay with it. I suppose I would be okay with a fish this size. It's, it's all right. 55 inches long. Meh. <laughs> That's a giant fish. Oh, Eurasian teal. Excited about those, yeah. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Now it's nighttime. Ugh. Cody. Cody Bryan. Thank you for the sub, Cody. I agree. I think it was the 10 pound. 10 pound rod messed with us. 360? Thank you. Goodness gracious. I got three subs in a row. All right, here we go. Now I'll catch a big one. Tyler, thanks for the sub. $31,000. All right, we're, we're bound to get one this time. This is the, the, the Twin Peaks Day. You always get it, Uni, on Twin Peaks Day. Always. Throw out the match rods. I don't even think I'll throw out the bottom rod. I think I'll just stick with the match rods. Um, may throw this mouse around just, just, just for the heck of it. Just for the heck of it. Axel says, nice one, Bo. Thank you, Axel. Wait a minute. It catfished you, I know. It Siberian taming to me. Kill a banded bird in the process. Ooh. Well, that's cool, man. Gotta have goals, right? Gotta have goals. And the virtual fisher, it's pretty fun. The virtual, the fishing sim, like the virtual reality one, Drag Yacht. What's the fastest way to earn money? Level 25. Uh, Everglades Bass, I believe. I believe. Pretty sure, anyway. Going bow hunting in five months. Right on. Very cool. Well, 56, now I have 30 day past the Congo. Do you think I can make it to 80? I think you'll get close to 80. But I don't think you'll make it to 80. You'll at least make it into the mid-60s. If you, if you play, like, every day a little bit. Mm. Cali. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to trying to read it. Is it Callie? Kalir? Andy? Gavin? Sounds Oh, okay. And we just had to take. We're still zoomed in. This is weird. Okay, okay, now we just had a second one go. I'm gonna get the second one because this guy is not super big. I'm kinda curious to see how big this guy is. This one's bigger than the other one. Which might mean that we should reel in the other one first because it might get it in faster. But they are both barbless hooks, so it might be easy to lose them. Cali, Randy, Gap. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. Well, very cool. What's going on, Cali, Randy, and Gavin? I should have known that. It, it makes so much sense now. Hindsight's always 2020, you know. Cali, Randy, and Gavin. I see it. Clear as day. What rod do you recommend for the Siberian Taman? Something above 60 pounds would be ideal. 
Um, I think it depends on if you're reeling them in from the boat or uh, from the from the bank. But I think uh, 60 pounds plus is probably the way you should go. It's uh, it's pretty annoying to reel them in on something lighter. But they did put out a new rod in reel, not a new reel. I don't believe so anyway. Put out a new rod though, a Thetis, and it's 60 pounds for 48 now. So, pretty sure it's new anyway. Here we go. Can we get the other one though? 54 pounder. Come on, grab it, bro. Come on, he knew. There we go. Got him. Got him. Two on. Yo, Bo. What's up? Yo, Bo. What's up? What's up? Yo. I don't know why it keeps. I want to rhyme something with it. Yo, Bo. Oh. No. Yo, Bo. Oh, no. That's low. Where'd he go? I don't know. Uh, something, there's something there. We got some sort of rap there. Where's, uh. Oh god, I'm blanking on his name right now. The rapping guy. Where where is he at? That's who we need. You love the catfish Quanchian? Yeah, that's one of my favorite things. The catfish and the uh the alligator gar. I just wish there was unique blue catfish at Quanchian. That would have made it all the better. Alright, which one am I holding here? Five. Walk is back. Dev boss. Yeah, dude. Dev boss could rap. He was good. He was good at it, man. Rug rat. He. What's up? He. Rug rat. All right, everybody. Who hasn't hit the like button? Fess up. I'm looking at you. Who's not hitting it? Ev you? Looking at you. You who has not clicked or tapped the like button what's your deal huh making me feel weird talking to a camera staring at you how is everyone doing tonight finally made it to a stream the huntsman made it to the stream glad to see you huntsman this is awesome i have the money set aside in game for a boat i have made a million with certain so i'll be using the boat for sure yeah right on man I mean, that's what I did. I bought the best bass boat just from all the money I saved up from Sturgeon and whatnot, so. Not. I think that's the best way to go about it. Just bought. Are we going to get to 200 likes by the end of the stream? I don't think so. We only have three minutes. <laughs> I think that'd be a new record, though, don't you? I don't think we've ever made it to 200 likes in a live, in a live stream. But we had like 167 people here at one point, didn't we? Is that where we peaked? I'm trying to remember. Oh, didn't mean to pick that up, but okay. The Gars and Glory DLC, it's pretty nice. Ooh, very cool. Been catching a lot of Gars and having lots of gl glory. Hope he's okay. I hope he's okay, too. I'm sure he is. He's a tough guy. I'm sorry, I'll hit it now. But gear, uh, come on now. You took care of Mowgli so well. Huh? Like he was a son to you. Like he was a son to you. And yet... And yet... Can they hit the like button, huh? Couldn't do it, huh? I get it. I'm no Mowgli. I'm not wandering around... With a little loincloth. I get it. You know? Talking the wolves and running away from tigers. And eating food with bears and stuff. I'm, I'm no Mowgli, bro. I get it. 166, is that a new record? I don't know. I honestly, I feel like if we got past 200, though, that would definitely be a record. Because I feel like we hit, like, 180. We hit, like, 180-something one time. A mega game! Oh, your thing's, like, lit up. I, I could have swore we had a bite. 72-pound unique red drum. Dude, nice. Love the stream support from Toronto, Canada. Thank you, Ethan. Amogus is here. How's it going, Amogus? Amogus. It's me, Amogus. I'm here to get you all to go out and buy, buy a bunch of Gus. Just liked Varner, man. Just liked right on. What's your CPU? I have. 
a Ryzen, something or other. Let's see. Let's see here. I'll look it up for you. I have a Ryzen 7 3800X 8 core processor, 32 gigs of RAM. There you go. That's what I can see from here anyway. Don't end until 200. I don't think we're ever going to get it, man. I don't think we're ever going to get it. I would like to stay until we caught one more fish, though. So I'll give you all that. I'll give you all that. I'll stay until we catch one more fish. Almost at 200. BZ I'm so close to level 34 and fishing planet mobile, but I have to watch you first have the best baitcaster combo in the game. Ooh, very nice, man. Fancy schmancy. Are you going to stop playing this? I will. <gasps> there we go. Hooked up. Hooked up, bro. Kind of switch to like a Scottish accent there. Hooked up for you. I don't have, I don't have a Scottish accent at all. So. <laughs> I have to delve into my Shrek. Hey, donkey! <laughs> I don't, I don't have a Scottish accent. Whatever. Uh, ogres are like onions. <laughs> I got nothing. One ninety-six. Literally four away. <laughs> the fish is stalling for time. I I believe it. I mean, he's taking us out to freaking one thirty almost. Sorry, you're late, Talon Palmer. I can't believe you're late. Oh my gosh. I can't. I can't believe you. That's okay, Talon. Zacchaeus is here. What? Cool wrench. Cool wrench. Nice wrench. I'm here, seen Discord message, LOL, 200, let's go, what up, Bo, haven't been here for a while, Forest Gaming and Bubba, good to see ya, absolutely, well, I tell you what, if there's a night, oh my god, we're one away, if there's a night to do it, it was night, man, we had, uh, how many people did we have in here at one time, <gasps> oh, it's coming at us, oh, that we're gonna lose it, oh, oh, when the meters go down into the blue. Oh, it freaks you out. <laughs> One more. One more. Someone's calling their grandma right now. Grandma! You have to hit it. We did it? I st I'm still seeing 199 on my side. Where's the 200? There it is! 201. Let's go! <laughs> that is sweet. Well, good job, everybody. That's awesome. Well, for that, I'm going to try to get our new Fishing Plan and Beginner Series video out on Wednesday. How about that? One day early. And I will say, once again, that the Hunter Call of the Wild video, coming out tomorrow around noon, I'm pretty sure, is going to be a premiere. We're going to premiere it. We're all gonna watch it together. It's gonna be like a live stream. And it's a work of art. Like that. It's gonna make you kiss your fingers. It's beautiful. The entire thing. So uh, look forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to watching it with you. But we're gonna end it right there. This has been one of my favorite live streams of all time. Just want you all to know that. I really enjoyed all of it. So, uh... Big thanks to all of you out there. Big thanks to Woodworking Beagle and David and Zach jumping in at the end for uh, for some moderating tonight. Really appreciate it. Um, these Siberian Tainment have been amazing. And uh, yeah, that's it. See you tomorrow during the premiere at noon, I believe, for the Hunter Call of the Wild vid, the last episode of Medved Taiga. If you haven't watched the previous episode, Make sure you do so, but at 12 o'clock p.m. Central Time, we're all going to watch it together. Talk with me. 
talk with everyone else as we watch it. It's going to be fun. Anywho, take care, everyone. We'll see you next time. And as always, remember, everyone. One family. Game on.